So uh, once again, discussing some of the uh, problems with Steam Controller and streaming. First, take a quick look at the uh, version of the client we're running. This is version, well, uh, this is the December 18th release, uh, running on both client and server. Both systems are running Windows 10. Uh, when you go into the library and select a non-Steam game, such as Ubiquitous Battle.net, game comes up okay. This is just showing that streaming works. This will just be a second or two. There we go. Um, controller configuration is still broken, though. When we select Configure Controller, uh, we're given initially a keyboard and mouse interface. Uh, once again, if I were to try and change this to a new community template such as this one, which we see nothing has changed, um, something a little more obvious again, gamepad template. Again, this is not having any effects whatsoever. Um, it seems to be locked in this controller configuration. When I try and manually change something, say left stick, change it to... Let's change it to a mouse, just, just uh, for s argument's sake. We can see that it changes to mouse here, and when I leave the dialog, and re-enter, again, absolutely nothing has changed. The settings are not persisting. Uh, keep in mind, this is a streaming session remotely connected to the remote host, and so this dialog is actually hosted by the host. Um, I'm actually not going to be able to get very far <clears throat> with the controller not being configurable, so I'm going to exit the shortcut and uh, stream an actual Steam game. So it'll just be a second while the host disconnects, the client disconnects from the host. There we go. Uh, let's select an actual Steam game to stream. Um, well, Far Cry 3. This is not a controller-enabled game, but it is a Steam game. So I'm actually going to just let it go straight in. And this is where the distinction actually pops up. In Steam games while streaming, the templates are not apply applicable. They can't be applied or changed, but individual control sets can be. <clears throat> so with the game running, <coughs> I'm going to bring up the controller configuration, and the default configuration that's loaded here, uh, this is a crazy hybrid of controller and uh, keyboard input right now. I'm going to switch it to pure gamepad. Again, we can see the template is not applying. This is still ma mapping buttons to various things the way they were before. I'm actually going to explicitly change one of the controls. In this case, I'm going to change the uh, left um, touchpad to a touch menu. It'll leave it mostly unconfigured. Uh, when I exit, we see that touch menu is still set to left uh, left touchpad. I'm going to exit the menu and return, and as we can see, the control changes have actually applied, but the template application failed, or it didn't happen at all, although individual controls are mutable. And if we actually run the game, we see that the touch menu actually does come up as I use uh, the controller. So, this is an evolution from the December 16th and 17th updates, but it is still broken. What should happen is that when I change control schemes, uh, using a template, for example, that should apply as if it were physically connected to the host machine. Again, the Steam controller is connected to the client, and this is a streaming session. When the controller is physically connected to the host machine, there are no problems, but this is obviously a defect.